Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy, Chris with the next. Alright, so this is an update video about the Cleveland, Ohio man who shot that old man on Facebook. So we just found out that he committed suicide. As I already thought, as a lot of people found, um, felt like he was already going to do. I just feel that this whole situation is crazy. Like I said in other video, a lot of people feel like it might be a conspiracy. Um, it may it may have not been. Um, he killed himself over a girl named Joy Lane. Uh, my whole take on this is just it's crazy. It's sad. That old man had to lose his life over um, this guy feeling some type of way. Uh, my advice to um, anyone, I just hope, I just hope there's no uh, copycats, because now that this man went viral, now that he's trending. I mean, he's deceased, but if he wasn't, he would went to jail. I just feel that. I know heartbreak is very hard to take. You know, I just had a coworker right now. You know. You know, his girlfriend broke up with him, and, you know, I know things could be sad. I know things can happen, but this is not the way to go. This is not the way to do it. You know, I know a lot of people burn up people's clothes and, you know, do crazy stuff. And then, with the school, um, school shooting, the guy who walked up on campus and shot the um, teacher... Uh, a, sim a very similar situation S shot his ex-wife you know I know you may be in love with somebody I know you may you know feel some type of way you know I've been through the same thing however it, it, this, that's not the way to go and killing innocent people that's not the way to go you know you just take some time for yourself you know put the past behind you move forward you know try to put that person out of your mind and, you know, just don't be no fool no more. Like in Vogue said in a song, no fool no more, you know. It just takes them a long time. Whether you're going to cry, whether you're just going to do all this stuff. But it, yeah, shooting people is not the answer. And, um, you know, that's my advice if anybody's going through heartbreak. Because, you know, a lot of people started to do crazy stuff and they're using... Facebook live streams now show everybody because like a lot of people said had it not been for fa uh, Facebook live stream nobody would have known his name and, and in the world especially America we have just a knack for like glamorifying well people on social media have a knack for glorifying things that should not be glorified or making stupid people famous because a lot of the youth is online as well as older people but a lot of the youth is, um, you know, sharing and trending the stuff. And the stuff that needs to be shared and trend, don't nobody, it gets no views, it gets a little views. So I hope there's no copycat killers. Um, also, my other advice, um, that was just for people who was going through some type of heartbreak. Like I said, again, it's not, you know, you know good to do that. And then my advice for social media in general, in this situation, you know, a lot of people do want to get famous. A lot of people do want to have a 15 minutes, you know, ain't nobody got time for that type of moment. I feel that um, jeopardizing somebody's life, jeopardizing your own life, you know, doing all these stupid stunts, uh, the human body is fragile and you do not get your life back. And so don't be doing stuff like that. You know, use God-given talent or some talent that you can get trained for. Um, like I was saying, use God-given talent. Or use some talent that you can get trained. But um, all this killing people is not cool. You know, you had the um, Christina Grimmie situation, which was a total different situation. Um, but she was a YouTube uh, star and she got shot but she was already popping 
You know, this is why a lot of people are very cautious. This is why a lot of people do not want to go out. And then you have a lot of bold people who, you know, they're not going to let, you know, somebody, you know, dictate how the way that they live. Because, like, there's a lot of people that went to the movie theaters after that, um, after that guy shot up that movie theater. The one that was dressed like uh, the knight or Batman or something. You know what I'm talking about. The one with the orange curly hair. You know, this is why a lot of people um, do not want to date or they don't want to do meetups on YouTube or this is why you can't get close to your favorite stars, you know, because you have a lot of people who are not mentally stable or they do not become mentally stable once they are, once they, um, once they deal with like a, a heartbreak or something. Like I said, we do go through things in life. So there's things that we cannot control. You know, there's things, you know, you think about the good times that you had with people. And even if it's not going to happen again, you know, because some people do want to switch up on you. You know, you can't love someone into loving you. You can't make somebody love you. You know, if they switched up on you, let them switch up on you. That's they loss, you know. Just think about the good times, take your good memories and go. You know, you can spend those good times and loyal times with somebody who's actually going to love you and treat you right. You know, um, yeah, just somebody that's going to love you and treat you right. You don't have to kiss nobody's ass or bow down to them. Now, if you did something wrong, you didn't, then you make amends for that. And if that person want to take you back or give you a second chance, then let them give you a second chance. But if it's none of that, if you're the one that's being loyal and they want to be loyal to somebody else and be stupid, you're going to have to let them be stupid. Let them take that ill. Let them take that loss. You know, don't go messing up your life just because, you know, this person won't take you back or they don't see the good in you or you really want to be with them. Some people that you want to be with is not... Some of the people that you want is not the people that you need. Stop thinking just because somebody cute, you need to be with them, or just because you want, just because you want them. Sometimes it might be just a lust. You don't even want them like that. Either way, there's always other people out there. Think about that. You know, you can't control a lot of the situations. Like I said, a lot of people do end up switching up on you. That's cool. Once you become successful, once you start doing good, they're going to try to want you back. And that's when you don't let them in. Let them experience the pain that you felt, but don't go shooting them. Don't go um, burning them alive or none of that crazy stuff. Just wish them well or don't wish them anything. But again, you know, don't let somebody dictate or control your life just because, you know, you want to be with them and you want to be in their life, you know. Some people are temporary. Sad to say, you have friends for a reason, friends for a season, and friends for a lifetime. Sometimes a lifetime one is the hardest one. I know myself. And sometimes that goes with dating too. That The same rules apply with dating. You know, you gotta stop letting people dictate and get up under your skin and get into your mind like that. You know, if you're going to get up on somebody's skin, get up under their skin in a good cause. But um, you can't let people get up under your skin. You can't let people keep irritating you. You can't let them, if they want to be stupid and retarded, let them be stupid. Let them sound stupid. Let them do whatever they want to do. But you don't need to be around them. This is including family. This is just a general PSA. You know, your life belongs to you. Your life is yours, you know, you don't owe nobody an explanation. You don't owe anybody anything. So this is just a PSA. Any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Till then, this has been your boy, Chris with the next. Peace.